Welcome to Complete K-12 Essentials. Fourth grade math, rounding whole numbers. Rounding, the purpose of rounding is to make certain math easier to calculate. Although math is a pretty precise science, it has several methods to estimate or get close to the correct answer quickly. One of those methods is rounding. Today we will deal with whole numbers, starting with the rules. A whole number is rounded to the closest 10, which can be up or down. The rule is less than five round down, five or more round up. So let's look at the first example, the number 13. Since this number is small, we will look at the ones place to determine the direction to round. The three is less than five, so we will round down. And our solution is 10. Our second example is 18. Following the rule, five or more round up. The next 10 is 20 from 18. We round up a total of two. Suppose we wanted to make a report of the grades the class received on their last test. And since this report was just for quick information, various exact numbers are not necessary. So rounding will help us adjust the numbers to be easily readable on the report. In this example, we have grades of 63, 87, 95, 82, and 75. 63 rounds down to 60. 87 rounds up to 90. 95 rounds up to 100. 82 rounds down to 80. 75 rounds up to 80. Our resulting rounded numbers are easier to read and use for the report. 60, 90, 100, 80, and 80. The next example is 238. With higher numbers, we must decide to what degree we wish to round. 238 can be rounded to the closest 10 or hundreds place. So if we choose the tens place, which is the three, the number to the right is eight. Our rule tells us that we round up. So our solution is 238 rounded up to, to 240. We have rounded up for the tens place. Now let's round for the hundreds place. 238 has a two in the hundreds place. So we must take the number to the right to apply our rule, which is a three. The rule says less than five round down. 238 becomes 200. Our result is 200. Now let's break out a larger number and round it to the thousandth place. Our next example number is 9,862. First, let's determine the thousandth place. It's a nine. Then, as per the rule, we look at the number to the right, which is an eight. Since eight is larger than five, we will round up. 9,862 rounds up to 10,000. The next highest number in the thousandth place is 10 or 10,000. Are you ready to take on an even higher number? Sure, you can do it. Let's try 114,831 and we will round it to the nearest thousand. We have four in the thousands place and the number to the right is an eight. So once again, we will round up as we are higher than five. The four becomes a five in thousands place and the number now reads 115,000. It is worth noting that all zeros follow the newly rounded number. Since we rounded in the thousands place, three zeros followed. Well, that was fun. Learning is always fun. Thanks for choosing a safe learning place. If you are new to this channel, help us out and like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. We publish new content every Tuesday morning.